Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how I glaze these four hand-built mugs using Amoco brushed-on commercial glazes. So here it is! There's so many glazes to choose from. Commercial glazes, studio glazes. You are welcome to use whatever you want. So I'm basically uh, use what's available in the studio and uh, I have a lot of uh, collections of Amoco, Coyote, and Mako. So I'm a painter by background so I love to just paint splashes of glazes and experiment on it. So here on this video you'll be seeing me do a simple organization technique that I uh, use to glaze these four mugs. I wrote down the layers of glazes which I made it simple. Three coats every color. So the body is three coats, the rim is three coats, the handle is three coats. Here it is! Before you start, you have to really organize yourself. Have your glazes ready, your brushes, your water, your sponge, and think about the glazes you like, the combinations you have uh, experience on, or you saw on Facebook, or your friends gave you a suggestion. So get yourself organized. It will help you in the long run. It's also a good time management. Get your glazes ready, shake them well, you can use a stir, and uh, make sure your lid is not stuck. Sometimes it gets stuck after reusing them. With brushing glazes, make sure you have a very good fan brush to use. One good thing about brushing glazes is you have to skip the waxing the bottom of your mug because you're not dipping it. I also use different brushes for different glazes. It saves time, it's less uh, messy, and less contamination. And make sure you keep it right next to the glazes that you're using so it will not get mixed up.
the handle I applied three layers of obsidian glazes which is black and they're runny so uh, a couple of them drip a little bit and I had to sand paper them Here it is, it's done. Uh, the combination is rutile blue times three, amber brown times three, textured amber brown fabric on the rim, iron luster smoke merlot on the rim, deep fabric obsidian on the rim. And all the handles are times three obsidian. There you go. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget to click the bell and subscribe. Thanks for watching! There are so many factors that goes with glazing. Obviously the cone, cone this is cone 6 electric, fired on electric kiln. And depending on where your uh, mugs are located, um, in the studio uh, we have a choice of gas kiln or electric kiln but these mugs are fired at cone 6 electric